this nap layout uses a combination of flex and grid. And I think it's a good example of how grid can be used to add small details to your site. So let's open up the outline panel and take a look at what's going on. The first item inside of our row is a flex container that contains all of the items in our header. The Olympic rings are sitting inside of a container that has flex grow set to one, telling the container to take up all the available space because all the other children of the parent container have flex grow set to the default zero. So all the menu items are inside of their own flex containers and inside of those is a photo module and a grid box with two text modules on the grid. All right, now I'm gonna start up a blank page and get started recreating this design. So we'll start with our outermost flex container, that's our parent, and then there's two children flex containers inside of that. The one on the left contains our Olympic rings and the one on the right contains our five menu items. The child container on the left with the Olympic rings in it has flex grow set to one. Within the child container on the right, there are five more flex containers. And I'm just gonna use the duplicate function in the outline panel. Next comes a photo module, which is our Olympic rings. So the box that that sits in, we're gonna select horizontal align left and vertical align center. I think now I'll just pop in all those little flag photos. Now I'm just gonna go back into my parent container and align vertical center and horizontal left. So now I just have to duplicate this photo module a bunch of times and make sure that all of the other flex containers are aligned how I want them. I can just fast forward through this part. Now it's time to add in the text and that's gonna sit inside of a grid box. So putting the text inside of a grid is gonna let me just really easily get these pieces of text right up against each other. So I just need one column. And for the rows, the top one is going to be 11 pixels added using the freeform text selection. The second one's a fluid row. And I'm also gonna zero out the gap spacing. Now we can put our text modules in the grid. Let's go back to that year text module because that needs to be aligned right. 
I'm also going to add this little piece of CSS to our text modules because by default, there's a little bit of margin on our text that in a normal setting would make it look good, but it doesn't work for us right here. And that super thin font variant doesn't look quite right to me on the year, so I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker. Now at this point, we just need to duplicate this grid a bunch of times and stick them where they need to go, replace the text. I can just fast forward through this part. Now it's just down to making a few final adjustments. The original layout that I built that I'm referencing was full width layout on the row. Let's just take a second to reference the original demo that I made and how this compares. In this original, it has better spacing between the menu items. I think it's okay that the flags are a little bit bigger, but it does need a little bit more breathing room between the menu items. And this one doesn't look quite so cluttered as the, the new one with the larger flags. So this flex container is the container on the right that holds all the five flex containers that hold our menu items. So this is a parent container and those five containers inside are the children. So from the parent container, we can utilize the children tab to add spacing to all of the children at once, which is one of the super awesome things about the box module. The last thing we're going to do is tidy this up for small screens. So the layout needs help on both small and medium screens. So let's start up here and get our Olympic rings to show up on those screen sizes. So first we're gonna go to the outermost parent container and we're gonna change the direction from row to column. Next we're gonna go to the box that the rings sit inside of and center. All right, moving on to the parent container that our five menu items sit in. We're also gonna change that to column, align everything left. And now we need to go in and Go to these text modules that have the years in them, and we're gonna align the text left. I think I'm gonna give this container here a little bit of padding on the left. And I think I'll stop here. Thanks so much for watching this demo on how to add some fine details to your sites using the box module with Flexbox and CSS Grid.